greeting for the day to my dear students no sorry sorry noun word to be called as board student right so much of her work is associated with this particular term board that you all get tense as soon as you hear this word but there is nothing to be tense about in fact i feel that you should take pride in saying that we are the students of board and saying so i officially welcome you all to 10th board welcome my dear students first of all i am assuming that whoever is listening to this video has already made up his or her mind to opt for computer subject and as your tutor i appreciate you all for making such a smart choice confused i will tell you how have you ever heard the saying haathi ke daant khane ke kuch aur dikhane ke kuch bas exactly same is the case of our computer subject it's same lengthy but let me brief you with the syllabus that it is divided into just three part yes you heard it right only three part that is html open office calc and c language so without wasting time let's quickly start with html that is our very first chapter and for better understanding i have subdivided this chapter into two topic that is introduction to html and basic formatting tag in html today from first topic i will cover basic terms of internet then we'll proceed to html language that you have already learned in 7th standard this session is theoretical but we need to go through it to score good marks i have tried my best to make it more interesting before learning definition of internet we need to know the term network a computer network is a group of two or more computers linked together in order to communicate and share resources in other word group of connected computer to share resource is computer network it can be as small as two computers or as large as billions of device now something about internet as you can see in this image two or more computer from your office form one kind of network in the same way at your home network exists similarly at your neighbor home some sort of network exists and all this network when combined together is called as internet internet means network of networks or in other word we can say that internet is collection of multiple computer network www or world wide web commonly known as web was created a cent in switzerland in 1991 by a scientist named tim berner lee and cent stands for european organization for nuclear research now this info distributed information system mean different user may contribute their knowledge or idea on the web and now what is web web is a repository of multimedia information and repository means warehouse or multiple media in the form of text audio video graphic and many more the web content is in the form of web page individual document page on world wide web are called web page and are accessed with a software application running on the user computer commonly called a web browser a web browser is a software application for trying me to read html document and display them as a web page here major web browser are firefox internet explorer google chrome opera and safari now you have seen web page right that document you can see on web that is web page 
but what is website website is a collection of web page that can display information about any organization or institute hyperlink hyperlink on web page are placed and it is pointing to different location as you will click on that link you will get the respective page it can be a text it can be audio it can be a video it can be any graphic fine now we will move to our html full form of html is hypertext markup language you know web page it is the page display on web browser but when you want to describe a web page you need to learn one language that is html right it is also known as documentation language where you will mark your web page by heading title image like that it is also known as markup language here we are going to use different tag that is additional information whatever content you want other than that you are putting some formatting tag right and it will use to present your web content on your web browser html file also known as text file and it is go with that tag we will see one by one before that we need to know that html is derived from html full form of html is standardized general markup language and that html was developed by iso international organization for standard in 1986 now html tag before that we will do simple exercise now i will open notepad you need two thing notepad and browser and that you get in build no need to install anything for this html language this is tag in angular bracket i am writing i am opening this tag i am closing this tag i will write four primary tag and title tag goes inside head tag fine so this all are the tag in html tag we have to write two thing head tag and body tag and in head tag we have to write title tag so see here tag it is a angular bracket with word or letter within this angular bracket this bracket and word together form a tag a tag is made up of letter word or number like i want to give heading 1 so h1 that can be a word or it can be a number also but it should be enclosed in a left and right angular bracket now we will see html element now you know the starting tag and ending tag when i will write anything between this starting tag and ending tag so here i am writing this is my first web page so some contain also i am writing here so what is this this is the element so opening tag i have some contain i have and closing tag even i am have, i have right so a combination of opening tag closing tag along with some contain it is known as element now an html element may be empty or can have attribute attribute means it will specify some additional formatting like heading 1 so width should be something size should be something like that i am specifying additional thing so here you can see here p tag it will display paragraph anchor tag it will display link but some additional attribute we are specifying here and br tag uh, br tag is empty tag we don't have to close it but still it is the html element now we will see structure of an html document as i told you earlier here we have two part two major part that is head section and body section head section contain general information about the page such as title description author right all this general information should embedded within the head section opening and closing for example inside head section we are writing title tag right and that will be display on the title bar of the browser here i will show you one example i will open notepad here i will write simple 
text here. Fine. And I will save the file. You can press Ctrl S or go to File menu, Save as. On desktop, remember the location. First underscore page and dot HTML. Save. You have to give the extension as HTML. Save the file. Now directly you can click on desktop, double click on desktop or control O and then browse. It is HTML file so I can open it in browser. So this is my first web page. I have not done formatting. In next lecture I will do formatting. So here you can see the title on the title of bar of the browser here title I have written. This is my first contain. So you can see here, this is my first contain on the title bar. Fine. Body. Whatever you want to display on the web page, that thing you have to put in body. It can be image, it can be table, it can be any graphic or any text. Both the section that is head and body are embedded within the opening HTML tag and closing HTML tag. Now last thing for this section, title. The title of the web page is specified by the title element. Element means opening tag, some contain and closing tag, which is placed in the H section of the document. Document should have only one title. The title should be simple text and should not contain any special commands such as hyperlink, right? And I suggest you that give meaningful name and is, uh, don't give more than 20 words. The title appear as a label of the window displaying the text just now we have seen and when you will see the browser history or when you will bookmark it then also you can see that title. That is all for the day. I hope it is clear to you. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned in for next video.